Okay, first off I want to go over uh, what we're going to cover. We're going to cover inoculation, sterilization, and um, we're also going to remove this branch and uh, branch, this stem. We're going to, um, I'll go through more on that later. Um, as you can see, this is a critical time. I removed quite a bit of, uh, um, of our wire tie support. Um, for our, our hormone induction and um, stem grafting. So um, right now you want to be real careful with the plant. This can easily break and I'm going to show you how with it. In fact it's going to break. It's going to come completely apart if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and the whole experiment will go completely bad. Um, so right now before we remove this stem I want to go over uh, some inoculations that um, are being done wrong. Um, my Leno number one inoculation is what we're going to use to uh, seal. We're going to, um, you can see it kind of has a green tint. Use number one to seal this up. And I'm going to do that after I sever this uh, stem. So um, what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is a lot of people are using um, number one and number two, the Leno lenticels. See all those lenticels, the little white specks? Those are, um, those are good when you use uh, Leno number two um, inoculation, but you don't want to use it for grafting. You just want to use uh, the um, graft amend or stem amend number five um, for the rest of this, but I'll go over that later. Right now, the first mistake that everybody's doing is just use number one after this graph that I'm about ready to do. And uh, number one is the greenish tint one. Um, I don't think you'll be able to tell in the video. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and sever this in the next video. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the meristem here. This is the main meristem. And it's uh, just briefly, we're not going into, uh, into any detail on why or what we're doing for the graft other than there's five plants, too much roots, too, it's overabundant for a five gallon pot. And just briefly, what I go over with students, it's a whole lecture in itself, it's a whole book in itself. But why we're removing this one in particular is it's a, a smaller stem and not as dominant. Um, so it might be a better plant, but and we're not removing the plant, we're just removing the stem base of it. Um, that's a whole other lesson. Let me get rid of this. So anyway. So there I just cut that piece off. This one was just hanging by a thread, so we'll go ahead and finish it. Try, try not to cut your other plant at all, actually. There's already been enough stress here. Okay. And now you see, um, make sure you sterilize everything and wash your hands before you do this or it can pollute the whole plant. You follow it up, it's this smaller, less dominant one. Be real careful, as I said in a prior video, this, this plant right here is already, um, until we put the inoculation on it, Sorry about that. Horrible videoing, taping. Um, so now we'll, and and a lot of people don't realize this. You want to apply it to both ends. And that's about it. Um, make sure you get all of it. All all this is really doing is sealing it. It's it's just number one. 
Um, there are a few hormones that could be picked up and I, I found through some experimentation that it, it does pick up a little bit and let me see if I can zoom in on this this is perfect this is how you want it right here there's a oh, don't, you don't want to bump it either there's a drop right on the end of it that's exactly what you want it's about ready to drop off but um that's exactly what you want because lino number one uh, is a, a sealant but when you have a drop hanging off the end there's a uh, let me see if I can get that I don't know if you guys will see that that's perfect that's exactly how you want to add that inoculant um, what it does is it seals the end of it and when you have that as the plant transpires it will through a capillary action suck up some of that it, it'll most likely drip off but in the process if uh, there's enough heat and um, um, actually trans transpir transpiration is what they call it um, of this plant it will absorb some of that up and that's exactly what we wanted because there was some it, the plant was kind of hurting when I cut it the other day we took out most of the stem mare stem um, when on the first little cut and I do that on purpose so the xylem and phloem will actually uh, it forces the plant to use it from the other meristems and they're the stronger meristems which can have a anti uh, a stronger um, oh, antibodies and things and resistance against um, diseases and pests and the, that type of thing so that's another reason we cut out that smaller uh, stem it just usually those plants um, are more likely to get sick and um, they're not as strong as the bigger more dominant plants um, but here again that's not what this lesson was about that's just about how to remove and add your inoculants